last of September, last couple days of September. And harvest has started in the Midwest and uh, here in Iowa. It's probably in full operations now. People are doing some soybeans and also corn. It's a time when we're very busy. Things are getting started and finding out what works and what doesn't work as we prepared for this time, but usually there's something that doesn't work quite right. That's kind of what's happening in our case. We've started harvesting some soybeans, but we do have some emissions problems with the combines. These newer combines have filters in there, it's supposed to take out some of the carbons and different things. We've been kind of working on that, and so that slowed us down, and in fact, today we're stopped, and we've got the deer dealership out here working on it. Hopefully we get running here later today, if not today, tomorrow. As we've started, we've harvested like uh, some soybeans. We still haven't gotten into our cornfield yet, but the corn is really uh, drying down, as you can see here in the background. Great weather, sun's been out. Uh, we haven't had any moisture. That looks like it's going to be pretty good harvest conditions for another week. That's really good news. That's what we need at this time. Corn reports, uh, sounds like, uh, where it's really dry, the yields are not very good. Some areas are, have been surprisingly good, especially if you have better soils. But naturally, if you're in the area that got more rains, I think those areas are gonna have a really nice crop. You know, with the conditions we're having, corn's drying down, that's always a good thing. To a certain point, we like to harvest with some moisture in the corn, so uh, we don't have as much uh, shelling at, during the harvest process, uh, losing some kernels while it goes through the head of the combine. It's always better, we feel like, to harvest in that 20 to 22, 23% moisture range. And we always end up with more corn. Uh, we have to artificially dry it, of course, but it still works out better for us, we believe. A time when we're really anxious, I haven't been in the cornfield myself, I can't really give up first-hand yield reports we'll see here shortly. Amazingly, looks pretty good for the conditions that we went through, the low moisture that we got through this part of, of the state, as well as uh, heat that we went through most of the summer. So we'll see here, in a, probably in, a, in next week, we'll be harvesting some corn. We'll see what it yields.